Dead pixels, hot pixels, stuck pixels, whatever you want to call them, can present a problem. They are all a form of a damaged or defective pixel. The damaged pixel can be white, black, or even colored, but they are caused by different problems. A dead pixel is when all three subpixels, red, green, and blue, are permanently turned off. They show up as black in the footage. This is more common with defective video graphic cards, so when doing screen recording, for example. A hot pixel is when all three subpixels are turned on, often showing up as white pixels in the footage. A hot pixel is a common defect found in digital cameras. You will often find hot pixels in your image during a long exposure shot with a high ISO. It's normal to have these and they will come and go over time. Hot pixels are often affecting the surrounding pixels because of the bare mosaic covering the sensor, since RGB values are then interpolated. A stuck pixel is when one of the three subpixels are turned on, so it can show up as red, green, or blue. The expression is usually used for defective monitors, so for that we can't do anything. The method we will describe applies to any defective pixels that cover a tiny area, so can also apply to tiny dust spots or a tiny ding on the lens. Let's see how to deal with these defective pixels using refill. Since refill is made for repairing holes and scratches, a pixel repair is a great use for refill. We will see other uses in other tutorials or if you check the documentation. Refill works by selecting the nearest good pixel. Mirroring pixels around the hole's edge or cloning from another good region. That good region can come from another point in time or even another sequence. We can start here in After Effects and see a quick example on how to fix a defective pixel on your footage. You can simply make a new comp and select the pen tool. You will draw a mask around the pixel area, then twirl open the mask and invert the shape. Next, we will add the effect. We go to Revision Effects and select Refill Alpha. We can change the mode to Fill Alpha. I can toggle the mask on and off to see how easy it was to fix this defective pixel. Okay, now let's see how to do that in Premiere, where the method will be a little different. We can take the same footage in and see how you can accomplish the same results. I have added the same clip to our timeline here in Premiere, and we can zoom in on it and see the dead pixel. I can select the pen tool and add a shape around the dead pixel. I can extend the length of the graphic shape to match the length of the clip. Now I just make sure the clip is above the graphic, and next I nest the graphic. I can go to Video Effects, Revision Effects, and add Refill Area Fill to the clip not the nested sequence. Here where it says Holes, Alt Source, we will select Video 1 as the Alt Source, as the shape that I created will be used as the map for our dead pixel and it's on V1. We can deselect Invert Holes and for Process Mode, choose Filled. In this case, that's enough because it's over the sky, but if the image was more complex, I would choose Blended Neighborhood so it would blend together the neighboring pixels. That should fill your defective pixel. Just so you don't think I'm cheating by picking a clip that had a dead pixel over the sky, I will use this other clip and do another quick example. So this is how you can easily remove or repair a defective, dead, hot, or stuck pixel with refill in After Effects and in Premiere.